Okay, hello. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make an animated gradient background on Android. And here you can see the end result. It's slowly animating across all the colors, as you can see. And in this tutorial we're gonna be using these exact colors and of course you can implement your own colors, whatever you want. But we're gonna be doing this in this tutorial, okay? And let's start. Okay, so here we are in Android Studio. This is a new project with an empty activity. I forgot to mention that I'll be using Kotlin in this tutorial. If you're not familiar with Kotlin, it doesn't matter. You can mix and match Kotlin and Java code in your project. And let's get this out of the way. And change this to a nice layout like so. So let's make first changes to the constraint layout here. And let's del delete the next view. And then we're going to be adding the background to the constraint layout. So we have to add an ID to this. And let's call this like a root layout, like so. And then as you saw in the demo, there wasn't any action bar or status bar here. So let's get rid of them next. So we are going to go to the resources folder and then to the values folder and the styles and this is the theme of the app which when we change this to be light dot no action bar then we get rid of the action bar and now how to get rid of this it's very simple we just have to change this color value which in order to change that we have to make a new color into colors and let's just do that color name and let's name it color transparent like so and to quickly get a transparent color you can just double click here and drag the opacity to just zero and now we can go back to the styles and change the primary dark color to be transparent like so and the result end result is this so now we have a blank canvas to work on and now that we have everything set up we can go to the drawable folder and then we are going to create our first gradient which will be gradient oh no gradient and let's call it start like so and we're going to rename this and by the way I'm uh, pushing shift F6 to highlight this and change this to shape and then the shape is going to be rectangle like so and then we add our gradient which is going to be a type of linear and actually before we go on we want to define our colors and in this example I'm using three colors because well it looks nice and I prepared some colors here in the Figma and I'm going to use these colors let's just copy this and let's say co and color name color gradient start so and paste it and add the hashtag and then since we need three colors we're gonna define three variables I mean colors and then this is going to be a center and this is going to be end and let's just copy these values here real quick like so and the last one like so okay so now we can go uh, well, actually close the colors and go and close tiles and go back to the gradient start xml file and now we can define the start color which is going to be start color and then the center color which is going to be the center color and then 
the end color, which is going to be the end color. And let's just indent this. And as you can see, the gradient is running on the wrong, di wrong direction. And funny thing about Android gradients is that you can only change the angle on the intervals of 45 degrees. So you can only go like 45 and the next one is 90. But you cannot go 56. It just doesn't work for some reason. And in order to get the angle to be from the top left corner to the bottom right, we need a 45 degree angle, but different 45 from this. And for some reason, minus 45 does not work. So we have to go 315 to get the desired effect. Okay, so now that's done. And we can then duplicate this, Ctrl C and then Ctrl V into the Drupal folder. And we're going to change this name to be center and make sure it goes to the drawable folder and nowhere else. It sometimes... oh come on. Okay, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Change the name to center and make sure it's going into the drawable folder and click OK. And now we are going to change these colors by shifting everything up by one. So the start color will become the center color and the center color will become the end color. Okay, so let's change this to center and then let's change the center to end and the end to start like so. And then again, copy this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and rename the file to gradient end and click OK. And now we are going to change the gradient end. Again, shift everything up by one. So the start will be end, the center will be start, and the end will be center okay and now that we have all our different gradient states ready then we can make a new resource file which is going to be a gradient animation xml and this is going to be changed into animation list and now here we're going to add item items and not like this like this and first thing we have to define is the duration which in this case is going to be 5000 milliseconds or 5 seconds but you can change this to suit your needs and then let's add the first not duration but drawable which is going to be the start create and start like so and then we can just copy paste this three times like so and of course change the second one to be the center and the last one to be end like so now the gradient gradient animation is ready and we can go to the main activity layout and actually add the background here which is going to be the gradient animation like so and now in the main activity we have to get reference to this background and start the animation and to get the get the background you have to do the following so let's create anim drawable like so and then call the constraint layout id which is root layout and then background as animated drawable okay and then we are going to set the fade enter duration here 
on the drawable, which in this case is going to be 10 milliseconds, which I found to be a really nice value. Uh, and then also set the exit duration, which you should put the same value as in the item duration. It creates a really nice effect. Okay, and then finally we can uh, start, 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 start the animation, and let's see how it looks. Okay, so it works, but there's this huge, well not huge, but the status bar is still white. And that's because by default the layouts do not fill the entire screen. But don't worry, it's really easy to fix. All you have to do is to call window dot decor view dot system UI visibility and set it to be view dot system UI flag layout full screen. And let's see. Okay, so now everything is looking very nice. And the animation is running and cycling through. Alright, so now you know how to make a simple animated gradient background. Also, there will be a GitHub link down below where you can find all the source code. And on the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this even better by adding these striped effects. But before you go, I would like to tell you that I just released my first native Android app to the Play Store. So I would appreciate if you could check it out. Okay? But for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.